Welcome to the Philippine Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Butch Gamboa. Here's the menu of some of our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with a review of the midsize SUV from Mazda, the CX-5, including a glimpse of some of the latest automobile models and concept cars from around the world. Plus a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two midsize SUVs from Mitsubishi and Ford, the Montero Sport and the Everest. Together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we'll also give you highlights of the recent launch of the Phoenix RCBC Bankcard Mastercard as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus and we'll be right back after this short break. As a coach, you don't define yourself in terms of championships you've won. What happens beyond the trophies? You have to move forward, grow, and get better. Life is all about taking shots, and I want these kids to at least have the courage to take that shot so they can grow, learn, be compassionate, and have the heart of a champion. See the horizon as a starting point. Use each obstacle to gain momentum. Make the unknown routine. Continue where all others stop. New Peugeot SUV range. Never have SUVs gone so far. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Mazda. The arrival of the 2018 Mazda CX-5 in the market has caught the attention of many, mainly because it embodies the evolution of the company's Kodo Soul of Motion design. Learn more about it in this week's car review. Watch this. The all-new Mazda CX-5 is powered by a 2.5L Skyactiv gas that produces 175 PS of power and 420 newton meters of torque, which is paired with the Skyactiv drive automatic transmission. This new model is also equipped with G-vectoring control, a system that's supposed to enhance chassis behavior, which is also part of the Skyactiv dynamics. For its suspension, the 2018 CX-5 uses McPherson struts at the front with multi-link beam at the rear. Outside, the all-new CX-5 boasts Mazda's enhanced Kodo Soul of Motion design, which is bannered to give the model a sportier and more dynamic look. Compared to its predecessor, it boasts of a more distinguished grille and matching fog light frames plus new front and rear full LED lights and redesigned alloy wheels. Climbing inside the CX-5, one will notice the standard leather seats immediately. The electronic dual-zone air conditioners are also one of the treats in this model. 
Moreover, the CX-5 is equipped with reclining rear seats. But the highlight of the CX-5's interior is Mazda's new infotainment system, the MZD Connect. It works with a smartphone for hands-free and voice-activated connectivity system to apps, maps, social media, entertainment, SMS, and email. The touch screen is positioned within the driver's line of sight, which is multi-function control buttons located on the floor console and can be operated by feel so the driver's attention won't be diverted from the road. For added convenience, the CX-5 is equipped with a few more systems that are under the Sky Active Technologies, the iStop Idle Stop system. It automatically shuts off the engine when the car comes to a complete stop after braking. The CX-5 also now comes with adaptive LED headlamps with 12 split array which improves visibility at night. Adding to the treat is the blind spot monitoring system that is mounted in the rear bumper to detect vehicles approaching from behind and the adjacent lane. The CX-5 also comes with lane departure warning and lane keep assist. Meanwhile, for safety and security, the CX-5 comes with six airbags, an anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution and brake assist. That was the 2018 Mazda CX-5, the newest model from Mazda that reflects the company's innovations in this week's car review. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. Today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. Motoring Today is now online. Just the click away. See the horizon as a starting point. Use each obstacle to gain momentum. Make the unknown routine. Continue where all others stop. New Peugeot SUV range. Never have SUVs gone so far. Welcome back to Autofocus, and we now have the latest auto industry news. Toyota Motor Philippines launched their entry to the MPV segment. In an event held at the Okada, Manila, the company officially unveiled the new Toyota Rush. The Toyota Rush is an entry SUV for Toyota. It's, it's our very first, very first entry SUV model. And this is meant for people who are usually in a routine and want to have a breakaway from their everyday and uh, they want to pursue a particular active lifestyle. 
this is the exact, the perfect model that can suit that um, lifestyle. It has the highest ground clearance in its segment with 220 millimeters above its ground. And of course, in terms of safety features, it has uh, six standardized uh, SRS airbags. And one of the things I like about it, especially on inclines, it has hill assist control. And of course, when you're parking, for someone like me who can't see it kaagad, it has a back sonar and camera. So it's much easier to park and definitely see the ones that are behind you when you're on reverse. This is our new entry SUV models. Uh, I believe that this model has a very good, uh, exciting uh, appearance, uh, I mean the uh, design, and also the uh, utilities for the customers. So this is very convenient vehicles for the customers. Then also affordable price we can provide. So all the customers who already get to use too much about the ordinary models like a sedan, so can be shifted to the, this model as a uh, first SUV buyers. Uh, we believe this is a uh, very attractive model for the customer to have uh, more sports SUV looking models and uh, more utility or convenience. Uh, we believe that uh, we can attract all of such customers. Please uh, come to our showroom. Meanwhile, Isuzu Philippines Corporation in partnership with Technical Education and Skills Development Authority or TESDA and World Vision Philippines presented its latest batch of 18 service technician graduates who completed their National Competency Certificate Program. The four-level program is administered by the regional branch of TESDA that offers vocations for automotive servicing. Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine, takes another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. See the horizon as a starting point. Use each obstacle to gain momentum. Make the unknown routine. Continue where all others stop. New Peugeot SUV range. Never have SUVs gone so far. These are the Fuel Masters. Every time they're on the court, it's high performance. Every time I'm on the road, I can also expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it! The next generation Phoenix Fuels, now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. Welcome back to this edition of Autofocus, the country's premier automobile TV and online magazine. We'll have more news about the auto industry still up ahead, 
But in the meantime, here's our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category on Head to Head. They may be based on pickups, but the modern-day mid-size SUV is more high-tech than ever. It's amazing to see features previously exclusive to luxury cars making their way to these rugged runabouts. Shiny examples of these are the Ford Everest and the Mitsubishi Montero Sport. Not only do they keep their off-road credentials, these SUVs are also fitted with the latest infotainment and safety devices. So how do we differentiate one from another? It's time to do a head-to-head. -head. Facing off in this week's head-to-head -head is the Ford Everest and Mitsubishi Montero Sport. These high-tech heavy hitters have been a success for their manufacturers. So what makes these SUVs fly off the dealership lots? Let's take a closer look, starting with the engines. At the heart of the Mitsubishi Montero Sport is a four-cylinder 2.4-liter with variable valve timing in a diesel engine with MyVec. Total output is 181 PS, while torque is rated at 430 Newton meters and is noted to be the first ever mid-size SUV to be equipped with variable valve timing. This is the only engine option for the Montero Sport. As for the Ford Everest, there are two engine options available. It starts with a 2.2-liter, four-cylinder, Dura-Torque TDCI turbo diesel, which can also be found in the Ranger. It produces 160 PS and 385 Newton meters of torque. Should you need more grunt, there is also a 5-cylinder 3.2-liter Duratorque TDCI turbo diesel with 200 PS and 470 Newton meters of torque. Both these SUVs have transmission choices that include a 6-speed manual or a 6-speed automatic. Also similar are their suspension setups. The Everest and Montero Sport ride on a double wishbone front suspension and a multi-link rigid axle setup with coil springs for the rear. These SUVs are also similar when it comes to their four-wheel drive hardware. The Everest comes with an advanced terrain management system. It allows the user to select various models in a four-wheel drive system depending on the obstacles and conditions. Not to be outdone, the four-wheel drive Montero Sport also has an electronically controlled system. Dubbed Super Select 2, it comes with various models such as rock, mud, and sand mode along with low-range gearing. Two-wheel drive models, meanwhile, are rear-wheel drive. Moving on to their cabins, the Mitsubishi Montero Sport is fully equipped even in base model form. Standard is a multi-function steering wheel, a multi-information display, and dual-zone automatic climate control. Manual variants get a traditional handbrake, whereas automatics upgrade to an electronic parking brake. Move up the range and you get leather seats with power sliding and reclining for both driver and passenger. For its third row comes with a tumble-forward system to stow the seats away. A bonus feature in the top-of-the-line variant is a power sunroof. Meanwhile, in the Everest, it greets you with a premium yet utilitarian interior. All models get a multi-function steering wheel as well as a multi-information display to relay information to the driver. Entry-level models get manual climate control, while the mid-to-top spec models get automatic climate control as standard along with power seats. To stow the third row seats in an Everest, simply pull a strap and push down the seat to the floor. Opt for the premium package and you also get a dual pane moonroof, power folding third row seats and a power lift gate. As for infotainment, low-end Everest models are equipped with a 4.0-inch color screen, while the rest of the range gets an 8.0-inch touchscreen and boasts SYNC 3. 
Saint 3 not only handles entertainment functions such as Bluetooth, Auxiliary and CD, it also stores and saves information from your mobile device, a voice command feature, a compass and climate control options. In the Montero Sport, all variants get a 6.75-inch touchscreen with Bluetooth, auxiliary, DVD with MP3 capability and smartphone mirror link. Like the Everest, the infotainment also allows you to store your smartphone's contacts as well. Also part of the infotainment package is smartphone display pairing which serves as the SUV's TV function. Moving on to styling, the Mitsubishi Montero Sport looks different from its pickup sibling, the Strada. It adapts to the dynamic shield design direction that sees a bold single-piece chrome grille that runs from the top of the headlights to the lower air intake. Onto its side, it has a window line that curves upwards, squared off wheel arches and two distinct character lines that defines its profile. At the rear, it gets a unique taillight treatment and runs from near the top of the D-pillar to the lower half of the rear fascia. The Ford Everest, on the other hand, sports a front fascia straight from the Ranger. It is fitted with a 3-bar hexagonal grille that is paired with headlights that comes with either halogen or HIDs with LED daytime running lights. From the windshield and back, the Everest is its own car with a different pair of doors and a more upswept window line. The rear on the other hand gets an elongated hexagonal taillights and single chrome bar. Not only do these SUVs come with high-tech drive systems, both can be specified with truly advanced safety systems. Aside from the usual assists and features such as a host of airbags and stability control, the Montero Sport and Everest come with systems that mitigate the accident in the first place. The Everest is available with roll stability control, trailer sway control, hill descent control, front and rear back assist, and rear view cameras. In the premium models, it adds lane keep assist, blind spot monitoring, forward collision warning, and active park assist. The Montero Sport also aces the safety check with a load of standard kit. All variants get trailer sway control, while mid to top spec models get stability control. Automatic four-wheel drive models get hill descent control, brake override system, forward collision mitigation system, reverse sensors, and blind spot monitoring. On to their variants, and the Mitsubishi Montero Sport starts with the GLS MT, followed by the GLS AT. Serving as the mid-range variants are the GLS Premium and GLS 4x4 MT. At the top of the lineup is the GT. As for the Ford Everest, it has seven variants, namely the Ambient 4x2 MT, Ambient 4x2 AT, Trent 4x2 AT, Titanium 4x2 AT, Titanium Premium Pack 4x2 AT, Titanium 4x4 AT, and Titanium Premium Pack AT. Prices for the Montero Sport start at 1,550,000 pesos to 1,998,000 while Everest ranges from 1,375,000 pesos to 2,109,000. Tough, capable, and high-tech. These are words that best describe the Mitsubishi Montero Sport and Ford Everest. While it will be difficult to choose between the two, these rugged SUVs are great choices thanks to their robust mechanicals and the peace of mind their safety devices offer. Take each one on a scenic trip or on the road less traveled. More about the automobile here on Autofocus as we usher in our segment featuring the autos of the world, spotlighting concept cars as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. For your exciting viewing on this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine, we have the 2018 Lexus ES. Let's watch this. For 2018, 
the Lexus ES350 offers the new Premier package, which provides a wide array of features, including heated and ventilated seats, driver seat memory, leather trim steering wheel with power tilt telescopic and memory, park assist, and blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert. In addition, for model year 2018, Enform Safety Connect and Enform Service Connect are now complementary for the first 10 years of ownership. Both were previously offered with a one-year trial period. The ES350 puts Lexus in the distinct position of offering two unique approaches to the entry luxury category. The ES350 with front-wheel drive traction focuses on flagship-type comfort, including 40 inches of rear seat legroom while the sporty IS models put more emphasis on driving performance. Two different models, two sets of priorities, no compromises. Bringing to bear a series of advanced technologies, Lexus Safety System Plus is designed to help the driver avoid collisions or mitigate their impacts. High-speed dynamic radar cruise control works at speeds over 25 miles per hour. It tracks the speed of the vehicle traveling ahead and can adjust the speed setting accordingly to help maintain a preset distance. Pre-collision systems can detect vehicles, and in certain conditions, a pedestrian by using a combination of millimeter wave radar and a front-facing camera. The system can warn the driver of a possible collision and can initiate automatic braking with brake assist if necessary. The ES350 delivers strong and efficient performance from a standard 268 horsepower 3.5 liter V6 engine on regular grade gas. It's teamed to an ultra smooth 6 speed automatic transmission. We'll have more news about the automobile and its industry after we pause for another short break. I'll be right back. Discover an extraordinary world as it unfolds before your eyes with the all-new seven-seater diesel CRV. See the extraordinary. Think you're tough? Do you dare to go off-road or off-key? Do you use your great power with great control? With a new Isuzu D-Max, you're tough enough to be unstoppable. And you're tough enough to be right back. Isuzu D-Max, tough enough for anything. Your weekly window to the world of business and guide to the good life can now be watched online. Just click on businessandleisure.ph and watch this week's show and other past episodes of Business and Leisure at your most convenient time of the day. Business and Leisure is now on the web. Watch it anytime. 
The original or Lapid Chicharon has over 40 years' experience manufacturing high-grade and crispy chicharon nationwide and worldwide. They also serve the best-tasting barbecue in town. Our Lapid's Chicharon and Barbecue, Laging Bagong Luto. Welcome back to Auto Focus, the show for the automobile enthusiast. And back to more auto industry developments. Hyundai Asia Resources Incorporated Commercial Vehicles Division won the 2017 Regional Excellence Award for Asia and Pacific, besting 15 others in the region. At the 2018 Hyundai Trucks and Bus Global Distributors Convention, held last March in Sydney, Australia. Hyundai Philippines was also cited for revitalizing customer confidence in Hyundai commercial vehicle after sales through their marketing campaigns headlined by the call for service inspection program, the service hotline by trained technicians who bring Hyundai's tried and tested commercial vehicle maintenance and repair right to the customer's doorstep. According to Hyundai Philippines, the awards are dedicated to their hardworking frontliners in sales and after sales in their 42 dealerships. And finally, Preston introduced the nine recipients of the Anak ng Mekaniko Scholarship Program during an event held at the Luxon Hotel in Quezon City. The nine Anak ng Mekaniko Scholars were selected through their submitted essays with the theme, I am a proud anak ng Mekaniko. We are awarding our nine deserving anak ng Mekaniko uh, scholars. Ano? So they were chosen all over the Philippines from about more than 40 entries. And um, there are nine are chosen out of the uh, entries all over the Philippines. And uh, we are here to award these uh, nine deserving scholars. All of them have to uh, be talaga ma certify namin that they are uh, certified anak ng mekaniko. Tapos they are also have to submit an essay. Naglalahad kung bakit sila dapat yung mapili na mag deserving na maging Preston Scholar. We also have some judges who went through these essays and uh, judge the parang content kung ano ba yung kabuluhan sa kanila ng pagiging Preston Scholarship. Preston has been a brand for uh, 90 years. Ano? So, sa siyam na dekada, siyam din na scholars yung gusto namin piliin. So, one scholar for every decade of Preston in the market. So, nine scholars for 90 years. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph or visit Autoplus Sports Zentrium located along EDSA, across White Plains, for Motul's opening year promo of greatly reduced prices. Discover an extraordinary world as it unfolds before your eyes with the all-new seven-seater diesel CRV. See the extraordinary. Think you're tough? Do you dare to go off-road or off-key? Do you use your great power with great control? With the new Isuzu D-MAX, you're tough enough to be unstoppable. And you're tough enough to be right back. Isuzu D-MAX, tough enough for anything. When you 
sweat to be sweet and you clean the seat. It's love. It's love. When you try to look cool, but you look like a fool, it's love. It's love. It's love. It's love. Show your love with the new features of the all new Innova. Love the journey. These are the Fuel Masters. Every time they're on the court, it's high performance. Every time I'm on the road, I can also expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it! The next generation Phoenix Fuels, now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. Welcome back to Autofocus, the electronic magazine exclusive to the automobile and its industry. And up next is our special feature this week. On this week's special feature, we take on the happenings during the Phoenix Fuels Black Party, wherein the company launched a partnership with a bank to get their fuel products and services to a higher level. Watch this. Phoenix Petroleum, in partnership with RCBC, introduced the Phoenix RCBC Bank Card MasterCard in a launching ceremony held at the Green Sun Hotel in Makati City. As presented, the Phoenix RCBC Bank Card MasterCard, which bears the Phoenix Pulse Technologies Wave trademark in its design, is a lifestyle credit card that offers perks and privileges, starting with a free 500 peso Phoenix Fuel welcome gift. First of all, Bong, let me congratulate you in this partnership between uh, Phoenix Petroleum and RCBC. Uh, and thank you very much for having us here. Thank you. Thank you, Butch. Thank you as well for coming over and uh, helping us uh, with the event. Okay, Bong, tell us, can you give our viewers an idea, what's the rationale between this uh, partnership? So, first of all, Phoenix, as, as you very well know, is uh, one of the fastest growing independent oil companies uh, in the Philippines at the moment. And as we look at growing our portfolio, we recognize the evolving needs of our customers, one of which is payment. As they become more mobile, lifestyle changes, we recognize the need for them to have this uh, kind of um, offer. And what better way to come up with this offer than to partner with an equally superior brand like RCBC Bank Card. So we wanted to provide this as an offer to our customers to support their uh, changing uh, needs uh, and lifestyle changes. Moreover, cardholders will enjoy 5% fuel rebate on Phoenix fuel purchases, free towing and roadside assistance, accident insurance, a 5% discount on Phoenix gasoline and diesel engine oils, and conversion of rewards points to free flights, gift vouchers, or cash rebates. RCBC Backyard is very excited to partner with Phoenix Petroleum in coming up with this very pulse racing product that is fit for every millennial. RCBC Bankard and Phoenix are both fast-growing companies. RCBC Bankard is one of the fastest-growing in the credit card industry, and we care a lot about millennials, similar to how Phoenix sees the millennials. In fact, that's the reason why we changed our tagline into We Believe in You, because we actually believe in the millennials. And having this Phoenix RCBC Bankard MasterCard actually makes that promise into a reality. So with this card, millennials can get more with their every swipe. Apart from the discounts that they're going to get, they'll also earn a lot of points, so they can use these points to travel. So I'm very excited for the millennials to have the Phoenix RCBC Bankard MasterCard. The partnership with RCBC is actually about the, co the launch of the co-branded credit card. So it's very simple. All you have to do actually is go to any RCBC, Phoenix station, or even apply online and the income requirement is just 15,000 to avail of the card. 
According to Phoenix Petroleum, the Phoenix RCBC Bankcard MasterCard is a continuation of their initiatives aimed at bringing our fuel products and services to a higher level. I invite everybody to actually apply, get the Phoenix RCBC credit card, and start going black. I would like to invite all our customers to come over and uh, join and enroll in our new service offering, the Phoenix RCBC Bank Card, MasterCard, and enjoy Pulse Racing benefits and lifestyle rewards. I'd like to invite everyone to apply for a Phoenix RCBC Bank Card MasterCard. You can apply through any Phoenix station. At the same time, you can log online at www.rcbcbanker.com and click on the Apply Now page. Thank you. Those were the highlights of the launching event of the Phoenix RCBC Bank Card MasterCard. This week's special feature. And up next is another exciting feature on our Autos of the World. This time around, the 2018 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross on the spotlight. With a reputation of being fun to drive and advanced technology, the Eclipse sports car was one of Mitsubishi's best-selling and iconic vehicles ever. Now, the Eclipse moniker is making its jubilant comeback with the same reputation for driving dynamics and technology in the form of a CUV, the all-new 2018 Eclipse Cross. The Eclipse Cross is a fusion of sharp coupe looks and dynamic SUV mobility with signature Mitsubishi styling, technology, and driving confidence. A compact CUV, the Eclipse Cross will join the Outlander Sport and Outlander to form a formidable CUV lineup for Mitsubishi. The Eclipse Cross contains many all-new features, including a 1.5-liter direct injection turbo engine, dual pane, power sliding panoramic roof, 7-inch smartphone LinkedIn display audio with touchpad controller, heads-up display, heated rear car seats, and the launch of Mitsubishi Connect. Similarly, the Eclipse Cross Coupe form is distinguished by its wedge profile with distinctive belt line and strong character line, a forward brake rear window, the angular rear gate and short overhang, and beefy fenders projecting the image of a powerful athlete. The dynamic of the Eclipse Cross features Mitsubishi's signature dynamic shield front design concept. The concept is a protective shield shape visually formed by the black central area represented by a black radiator grill that hints to the performance of the car. The black area is embraced from three directions, the left, right, and bottom. Dynamic shield emphasizes the front end's functionalities aimed at protecting both people and the car itself. The dynamic and characteristic rear design is distinguished by the almost cubist styling created around the high-mounted stretch rear lamps and by how it horizontally divides the forward rake rear window into two. When illuminated, the tubular LED brake lights and the central LED high-mount stoplight form a single bar of light running across the tail, giving the Eclipse Cross a broad and stable appearance from the rear. The Eclipse Cross comes standard with a 1.5-liter direct injection turbo power plant that offers a compelling combination of drivability, performance, and efficiency. This new turbo technology provides both strong torque and better fuel efficiency with 152 horsepower at 5,500 rpm and 184 pounds per feet of torque at 2,000 rpm. It features advanced technology such as sodium-filled exhaust valves to maximize performance and efficiency, and the torque is greater than 2.0 liters and 2.4 liter engines in other Mitsubishi products. And that's Autofocus this week. We hope you have found this edition of your automobile electronic magazine informative as well as entertaining. You can also check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. Until the next time, this has been your host, Butch Gamboa.